Hey folks, Michelle McPherson here with a quick video. Uh, I wanted to show you something that's been working really well in my business for the last two months or so. And I wanted to show you how we're implementing it and what a difference it has made for us in conversion. So if you're looking for a way to increase your conversions, stay tuned. That's what we're covering in this video. So first, let me show you what it looks like. If you head on over to Social Media Daily, Dot com and you hang out on the page for a couple of minutes what you'll get is a little ding and then this will pop up at the bottom it says contact us got a question if you open it it will tell you that you can have a live chat and um, talk to one of our support agents um, now I I'm secretly signed in as a support agent right now so that I could kind of show you both ends of it. So here's what the other end of things looks like. Me as the support agent signed in right now on behalf of uh, Jeff is able to see who is on the site at any given time. I'm able to see if they're new to the site or if they are a returning visitor. I'm able to see what page of the site they are on. And then when a chat actually begins with the site visitors, then we're able to actually, uh, you know, converse with them. So I can also, as the operator, now we've, see, it just happened. We've been on the page for, I think it's a minute that I have it set for. And so it'll ding and it tells folks, hey, how can I give you a hand? And then they'll often respond and say, you know, um, Oh, I'm looking for information on this. For example, I'm looking for information on your reseller program. And then that support agent who's signed in will be able to say, oh, okay, great, no problem. I can give you a hand with that. So let me show you how this um, works. So I'll say, there we go. So it comes through what they've said and I can say we work in all niches. What questions do you have about our service and your market? And then that support agent can now go back and forth and as you can see, that came through for the client here. So that support agent can now go back and forth, find out more about that client or potential client, and then direct them towards the product or service that'll work best for them. Um, we have found a number of things with this. Number one, um, it's really good to have open when I know that I'm going to send out an email or publish a blog post that specifically is selling this product or any of the products for which we have live chat installed on because if we can get a support agent with it open, then obviously we're gonna have that kind of live interaction with people. One of the reasons that I never really implemented this before because my thought was, um, if we have 24 hours in a day, well, I'm not going to man the live chat 24 hours a day, seven days a week. What I decided to do when I gave this a shot was just, you know, when our support folks are logged in and they're working at the support desk, then they can also keep the live chat open when they are not then they close it and we're not freaking out about number of hours per day that the live chat is open. Although we are, like I said, trying to capitalize on times where a mail goes out or something like that. Um, but other than that, it's a pretty casual thing. The cool part is though, is that if we are not signed into live chat, if no one is available, instead everybody will be able to leave a message. And when they fill out the form, um, when it dings, it'll it'll go directly to our Zendesk powered support desk automatically. So people are able still to leave a message, to ask a question, to interact with us or to start a conversation with us. Um, but we don't have to man a live chat 24 hours a day, right? So um, is it working? Yes, we have seen so many people who first engage in a chat with us and then go on to purchase the product. The idea that there is a human being behind the products and services that are available online is very important to many people. And in this case, people wanna know that there's people. <laughs> 
behind the social media work that we're doing. And people want to know that they can reach somebody. We have seen such an increase in conversions from people who first go through and do the live chat. Sometimes we're also often able to direct somebody towards a better fit for them. For example, I was looking through our transcripts and yesterday I saw a chat that had been had earlier in the week where the customer really wanted to increase their Facebook fan base and we were able to direct them towards a more appropriate product for them because what they were actually looking at was the Pinterest product page. So we're able to help people out and say, you know, oh, no, 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 you want to come over here. Or, oh, if you're looking for traffic and you're a retail site, Pinterest is going to be a better match for you. That kind of thing. Um, we actually had a customer order the wrong product yesterday, but we were able to catch it because we had had a live chat with them before and we knew that when we spoke with that client, it hadn't been about the product that they ended up buying. And we were able to, before we went and set up all their accounts and went through that process to be able to say, um, wait, did you mean to order this instead? And they were like, yeah. And we were like, okay, good. I'm glad that we caught that. Um, so we're able to provide much better service because of the live chat. And like I said, we're able to close a lot more deals because uh, we can answer questions and we can help people answer their individual um, concerns and also give people a look at, uh, you know, that there's people behind this business. Final thought, it plugs directly into your Zendesk. So if you're using Zendesk, this is a really great integration uh, that has been a big help for us. So conversion booster, live chat, Inc. for us has worked tremendously. Let us know in comments if you've tried a live chat solution, what your experience was, what you found it to be good, what you found it to be bad for. Let us know. Let's have a chat. Head on over to michellemcpherson.com where you can ask your own questions for the next episode of the Michelle McPherson Show. All right. Thanks. Bye-bye.